Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Apico. This is a game about um, having your own apiary, I think, and and uh, basically keeping bees. I've been uh, this has been on my radar for a little bit. looks Looks cute as a bean, and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's let's check it out. This is the demo, by the way, and the game is uh, still early. It's not out yet. Got lots of customization options. Oh, that's that's good. All right. Yeah, let's do it. What's your name? Sig Bimple. Set sail. That's a strange way to say, uh, start your own apiary farm. Releasing bees. No, we, we want to capture the bees. Keep the bees, we're keeping some bees. Oh, we made it, Sig Bimple, and just as, yeah, we're getting, yeah, sea legs, oh ho. I gotta say, um, game was at full blast, but it wasn't, it didn't blow my ears off like a lot of games do. It's kind of blowing my ears off a little bit now, but that's okay. I I it, I have afforded a little bit of um, ear blowing. Impressions kind of gives me that that Stardew vibe. Stardew has been a very influential uh, game in the indie sphere um, for 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 better. I think purely for better. Um, but this is not a game purely about starting a farm. This is about an apiary specifically and. Breeding bees, let's see here. Oh, it's you again, what do you want now? Dr. Bean Jammin. <laughs> what do you got in your shop? You've got some stuff. Um, we got a wooden frame. We got a basic apiary. We got an advanced apiary. We got honeycomb. Right, okay. Welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. We claim to be. Yeah, I, well, I was gonna say um, the, the concept of this game did um, immediately strike me as being a little bit similar. Uh, you're gonna don't don't give me a hard time for this one. To Minecraft. Now, hear me out. You can have punching trees in your game without it being like Minecraft. But there's a lot of mod packs for Minecraft, and one of the most like pervasive mod that I've I've noticed in it's it's got to be in like a bazillion mod packs for Minecraft. Is the bees one? It's inexplicable. Um, it, it's bizarre to me, but yeah, the beekeeping mod is highly popular. I, I think it's more like a, a good thing. Like if you liked the beekeeping mod in Minecraft, maybe this is a game that will speak to your, your desires for more beekeeping mechanics. Uh, on an item collect, you may you, you can collect as many of that item as you want. Nice uh, quality of life features right away. I appreciate that. All right, crafting. Uh, time to get crafting. Work. Grab that workbench she just gave you, and uh, place you can you can work on the workbench. Are there some places that are like? Is do, do we own a place? All right, well, we can work here. I can make a saw bench. So we've got some stuff in here. Can we just uh, we can throw some stuff in there maybe? Saw bench. Or, all right, let's put put the saw bench down. It's time to put the ranch down. We'll get that flower. I'll pick up this flower too, what, why not? All right, so now we can put some logs in here and make some, oh! Oh, it's interactive. Oh, I, I, I kind of like that. I mean, it's gonna feel like a chore later, but for now, uh, the novelty of this is kind of fun. All right, let's, we got some, we got some uh, s planks. Can we put um, some planks in there to, to further cut them down? Yes, we can. That's why we get some sticks. We've got we've gotten like 16 rewards um, since I started, and we got some more sticks and wood and clay, and well, not clay. <laughs> we got all the other things. We can make a pickaxe. Regular bench used to let you take a nap, which makes time pass quicker. Well, we don't want that. If you didn't know, tools are actually kind of expensive. With all these menus open, you can like just kind of. Like, this is actually really nice. Um, Cause you can just like craft it here and then it's immediately available to, to make stuff. When I've got enough, I don't need to like fish through so like all of my inventories and all my menus to like figure out oh, how many of this do I have and where did I place my sticks and, and, and where am I? Who am I? And you know, we have all the things we need. I wanna make some uh, wood, uh, like wood flooring. There's our wood flooring. Craft, we're gonna need like six of those, I guess. Eight, sure. Let's make this make this home a bit more homely. It, it's uh, when you actually have the menu open, then it, it knows that you have it. But um, otherwise it uh, doesn't doesn't really know. 
Can we make a door? Well, we're good for now. I'm gonna put the all of our building materials into this crate. Finding bees. Let's let's get to bees. You know, let's get to why you're really here. Bees. My thoughts exactly. There's all the bees. The queen has finished her cycle. I'm gonna take all these bees. I'm assuming I can just take all the bees. I'll take the honey as well. Uh, what I'm also gonna do is I want since I am claiming this area, I'm gonna ch chop down all of these trees. There they are going to town on that flower. Can place another flower. Why not? So let's let's pick up this water hive. We have two of the three things we need now. We need a forest hive. I'm assuming the forest hive is going to be green. Oh, I wonder if I don't need to like pull everything out of it. If I can just like or pick it up and, and place it. So we have all the things we need except we don't have a common bee. That's a lie. We do have a common bee. Time to make an army of Beatrice. Uh, I don't know which one Beatrice is anymore. That that there, sh she's long gone. I'm sorry to say. Let's go ahead and place our our water hive over here, and we're gonna place everything like sort of in this vicinity. So this bee has some traits. I'm not sure if those traits are good or bad. Are all water bees the same? Are they all created equal? Who can say? This bee has slightly better uh, blue stat. I'm not sure what that blue stat means, but I'm sure we'll find out. So let's um, let's go and find us some flowers. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and just pick up a bunch of flowers. Honey rose. It's a lot of trees. If if I could uh, maybe request less trees in this forest, I can barely see myself for the trees. Oh, there's a, a little garden here. Oh, nice. You can put something in the preview shot. And then it'll display what kind of stuff. Oh, that's really, that's a really clever uh, little uh, quality of life there. I like that. I like the uh, the sound design in this game is like really nice. It's super, super immersive, if I'm being honest, despite the very minimalist design of like the art style. Genuinely am finding it difficult to navigate through this forest. I need one more swarm, swarm wart. In this demo, there's only six species of flower to discover. But in the full game, there's over 15 different species to find across three different tiers. Crossbreeding flowers is easy. Your bees do all the work for you. So this gives us the uh, info on each flower and it'll tell us how to breed new flowers. I think what I want to do is get an actual apiary because I don't have one right now. Verge bee. I notice this bee is shining. Is there a reason it's shining? It, it, it seems to be maybe better than other bees. Oh, we can just make an apiary. Mm, we can't quite make an apiary. Yeah, we've got tons more honeycomb. So let's make uh, let's make an apiary. There we go. Craft. All right. So we've got we've got an apiary. So now we can um, possibly make something better in this. So we'll we'll put the shiny bee in here, and we'll have a look at some of our other bees. Maybe ones that are comparable. Seems like they're either not as good or worse. So we'll put in this forest bee. Um, I'm also gonna place down our flowers. And I notice um, a lot of our flowers are, are kind of breeding already. There's more flowers going on here. In terms of like game concepts, this has got to be one of the most pleasant games <laughs> I've played in recent memory. It's just so, I don't know, chill. Um, we may as well like continue to breed these ones, although this one's uh, not done yet. Maybe we can look at what the next thing we need to make. We do, we're going to need to make a wooden frame, right? We can make two more wooden frames. Let's make two more wooden frames and, and that way we can, we don't have enough honeycomb actually, so never mind. So we take a queen from a hive like this one. We could take, we could, we'll take this, this queen and we'll put this in here. And then, uh, this tells us that it could be a verge, could be a verge forest or an undiscovered bee. It could, it could be one of two different undiscovered bees. We don't know. A nice little god rays. That's 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 super pleasant. This game is like very pleasant. But <laughs> in some ways, even more chill than Stardew Valley. And Stardew Valley is is a is a chill game, but it also presents you with like fairly stressful tasks, like you know how much stamina you have. Don't don't run out of stamina. Got to get your chores done. Got to go. Away. Oh, it's my girlfriend's birthday. Can't miss that, or else you know, oh, it can't can't uh, start that mini game. Got to make sure. Got to pull some stuff out of the trash and and make sure I'm here for this. There's a lot of stuff going on. So I guess you wanna you wanna collect these honeycombs. You also wanna have a look at specific um, bees for their traits. I don't know what the traits mean yet. We can definitely have a look at that. I'm gonna have to like 
cut my way, like cut a path through this forest. I'm sure that's what I'm meant to do, but I, I'm, I'm being very lazy about it. Axe broke and it immediately swapped us uh, for like a, a new one. I love that feature. If you're gonna have durability, emails will have some quality of life to, to make sure that durability isn't just like a total pain in the butt. I don't know how I feel about this quest calling Pimp My Hive. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of inventory management here so we can, you know, I, I don't feel so overloaded with stuff. There's only nine species of bead to discover in this demo, but in the full game, there's over 30 different species to find across five different tiers. Okay, every bee has a set of traits depending on their species. When you crossbreed bees together, the queen inherits a mix of traits from both bees. A lifespan, fertility, stability, climate. This is the climate a queen prefers, can be temperate, Wait, are these guys trying to sneak in actual biology into a game? The answer is yes, sorry. So we have lots of information about lots of different bees. Extractor. We need glue for the extractor. Used to release bees back into the wild, adding to their conser conservation status. We probably do want to make that, don't we? If only to get rid of some of the extra bees that we don't need. You know, you're going to get a lot of bees and you don't necessarily want to keep them all. We have another empty wooden frame. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Oh, we have a w filled wooden frame there. So now we have to um, f we have to make a thing that will ca cap them. Okay, we're releasing bees into the wild. I noticed there's like a bee tracker here. Wooden canister. Used to transfer various liquids. Interesting. I think I'm gonna make some tree taps. Extract resin from tree. I don't know why I need this, but I'm assuming I do need it. Uh, I'm wondering what we'll do with used to make sawdust bricks for the smoker. Oh, eventually we'll get a smoker. Nice. So we can see the resin collect. That's nice. Um, let's so let's put two shiny bees in here. We'll see what happens. These are both blessed bees. So this is continuing to be a blessed bee, and it's got a lot of traits going on. We can see uh, it's it's varying quite a bit. We do have our second filled wood frame. We need to make that capper happen. Okay, so we need to make an uncapping bench. Oh, we need two frames for that. All right. All right. So we've got the uncapping bench. Uncap filled frames used for the extractor. So now we can put our filled wood frames in there. And I'm assuming, yeah, we're, so we're gonna get uh, propolis. Sticky propolis used in crafting beekeeping items. There we go. So it's not like the uh, saw bench. You can't just go back and forth. Uncapped wooden frame. We will see some honey. Maybe when I make some, uh, like actually finish making some honey. So we'll end this let's try. So now we need, we do need an extractor. Oh, this will give us bee wax. So we need glue. Glue, all right, here we go. So we make it from uh, propolis. What is this? That's an infuser. Used to infuse wood material into resin to make them stronger. All right, we got we got more more honey, more stuff filled wooden frame. We need more propolis. So you can you can maybe see the the gameplay loop forming here. Um, it, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, like along with having more and different breeds of bees, uh, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing some story or like maybe uh, like some people to interact with. Um, it, it feels very sandboxy right now, but this is this is just a demo, and I have apparently been playing this for an hour. So I, you know, who am I to say this is this is pretty engaging? <laughs> All right, let's uh, put some put some bees together. Once this is this is done, we'll have enough to make the extractor, and then we can start getting getting the good stuff. I, I mean, like, and I'm also I'm doing things the slow way. There was a ton of other hives that I could have gone and collected uh, that I basically just chose not to. Um, mostly because I, I, like, this area already feels pretty cluttered. I suppose I could have, uh, cleared some more forest land, but I don't know. Uh, I like to, I, I like to limit things a little bit. We should be good here. We are good. All right, let's make that glue. All right, good enough. That's it. That's all we needed. Extractor crafted. We'll go ahead and put it like right next to the uncapper. And now we can throw all of this in here. Okay, so this is uh, spinning. It can only spin so fast. So you can you, you get a couple of spins and then 
that's about it. So it's it's basically giving us all of the extra goodies. So we got some beeswax, we got a sticky pearl, uh, we got our empty wooden frame back, we got some new bees knees seeds. That's new, maybe. And we have uh, we actually have honey in our tank. Oh, I actually crossbred bred something. We're gonna want some some of this, some more canisters, so we can actually get our honey. We actually have honey now. Oh, undiscovered bee. Oh, there we go. New discovery. More like new discover bee. Oh. Verdant bee. Verdant bee was the first domesticated bee species in the archipelago. Conservation status loss. Rehabilitate more bees to save this species. Interesting. So depending on what kind of bees you rehabilitate, you will uh, save them. Anyway, uh, that's gonna do it for Apico. This is a really cool game. I like it a lot. It's super chill, but um, you know, it has that wholesome feeling of like building uh, something like a farm, um, but it, it's a little bit more focused and more specialized. And yeah, I could absolutely see myself playing many more hours of this, try and get every single bee. It, uh, it's exactly what I would want from an experience like this. This was Apico. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.